you will know that I have been lusting after a Louis Vuitton bag for quite some time. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you know, if you've watched my review of my Louis Vuitton Clemence wallet, you will know that I have been lusting after a Louis Vuitton bag for quite some time. And you'll know that I absolutely love my Clemence. And I have been thinking about buying a Louis Vuitton bag since I was probably a teenager. I know that my very first want was a Chanel. And then I sort of started to know a bit more about Louis as I got into my later teens. And I've wanted a Louis Vuitton bag for a number of years now, for a really long time. There's always been money going to something else. And I've never been able to justify such a big luxury purchase on myself. So my friends bought me the Clements. As I said, I'll... Um, Pop it up there if you want to check out the review. I got that for my 30th birthday off my friends, which was so lovely of them. And this year, I did my tax and I thought, hey, you know what? I said to the husband, let's spend tax on us. So I am so excited to be showing you the unboxing of my new Louis bag purchase. I have wanted this for so long. When I went into the store yesterday, I... When I went into the store yesterday, I was eyeing off a couple of different bags and I was kind of leaning towards the bag that I didn't end up getting. And I'll tell you about that when I show you what I ended up getting. And also when they brought out the other bag, the bag that I did get, um, when they brought out the two styles and I saw them sitting there side by side and I was like, oh my God, I think I want this one. And then I went with the other one. So without further ado, um, not trying to delay, I'm going to show you what I got. I'm so, so excited. I've been stalking the purse forum and asking them a million questions about what I got. So as you can see, look at the beautiful box. And I'm just going to undo that and try and get into it for you. I'm so excited. I'm just like, where am I going to take this? I mean, I can take it anywhere, but like, where am I going to actually take it? So, as always, it comes in a beautiful magnetic box. And the dust bag. I feel like you guys, if you've watched these before, will have a fairly good idea of what I've ended up going for. And the sales assistant, I shopped at Collins Street in Melbourne. And the sales assistant was Jasmine, and she was great. And it was pretty busy. It was a Saturday. Anyway, um, here we are. As you can see, I went for the ever classic speedy so it's always flat packed i actually didn't know that until i watched the unboxing videos and i was like oh that's interesting she actually repackaged it up for me in the store yes so it is the speedy 30 i went for the classic she showed me the bandolier 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 bando i'm not sure how you say it i'm normally not too bad with my pronunciation stop it go away but yeah i have no idea i need to like i was always thinking this i was i knew in my head that i had loved the speedy for so long and i was really like sold i knew that i wanted the 30 in my head i thought maybe even the 35 and then i realized the 35 was like luggage and i was like no after doing some research i actually considered the alma bb and I, uh, the reason why I thought I might have gone for the Alma BB is because it was a crossbody and it was smaller. So I knew that it would be good if I was just like running errands because like, I don't, this won't be my everyday bag. Um, this will be a bag that I use on occasions where I'm going shopping with my friends or at the dinner or with, with away with the husband. It's not going to be something that I take to school because like I'm a teacher and I don't teach anywhere that fancy. I literally teach at a small rural school with like a tiny amount of kids. And I just feel like it's not really worth it. I might take it tomorrow though, um, just because it's brand new and I kind of want to give it away. But yeah, it's definitely not for those purposes. I looked at the Alma and I am not a small girl. I don't know if you, you probably can see, I'm not super small. Um, I'm an Australian size 16 to 18 and I would be like, so that's like a US 12 to 14. The Alma VB on me looked so small. Like my best friend was with me and she was like, no, 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 it's fine. It looks really good. And I was like, this is not for me. And she was like, if it's not for you, do not get it. The sales assistant then showed me the Speedy 30 in the monogram and in the Damier Abim. And as you can see, oh, look at how pretty and matching it is. Even the red pull tab, the cherry interior is going to match. I love red. Red's my favorite color. Yes. So she showed me the mono and when she had them, so she had them sitting like this. She had them sitting side by side 
on the counter and when I saw the mono I was like oh I'm in love like that was my initial in, like impression I was like I need I want the mono and I had an outfit on yesterday that was fairly typical of me I'll insert a photo for you so you can see what I was wearing and it was fairly like you know typical I wear lots of um lots of like these kind of like colors like red like burnt sort of oranges mustard tan beige black gray they're my kind of color palette and I just held it the mono and I, I don't know whether it was because of the vachetta as well, the vachetta just didn't do it for me. And I felt a little bit underdressed with it. Whereas when I held this up, I was like, yes, this is 100% the bag for me. So I actually didn't even check um, that it's, yes, it's made in France. I don't know if you can see that, made in France there. And my Clemence is actually made in Spain, so I'm so excited that it's actually made in France. Um, you've got the zipper pull tab opening, so I'll open that up so you can have a look. Oh, look at that cherry. It's a, little bit, it's a little bit erotic, isn't it? And it has the zipper section here. And we'll just have a look. I have not, like, I'm so excited. Yeah, so that'll just, that's quite small. That'll fit, that'll fit like lipstick and stuff, so that's good. Then inside I have my receipt. It's tiny. The receipt that I have in my comments is like three times bigger than this. So I don't know if they're like cutting down or saving paper. It was just coincidence that this was the size that they gave me. And what else have I got? It just says coated fabric cowhide leather trim. I thought there was like an authenticity thing, but maybe that's the code in here. Oh, it smells. It smells good. And the lock, I haven't... Um, I don't even know like where do I even put the lock I'm thinking I want to get a bag charm if you are a Louis lover can you please let me know what bag charms to get I can't justify a Louis Vuitton bag charm at this time in my life but I'm definitely keen to look at a little lock anyway so yeah this is the lock and yeah if you have any ideas for like cute bag charms um, that I can get that are like not cheap looking but that are not like you know five six seven eight hundred Louis prices can you comment below? Because I'd really like to know. What? I just dropped the keys. It's okay. I've rescued them. This is the little lock. It's way... Oh, this is going to sound... This almost sounds really dumb, but it's actually... It's heavier than I thought it was. And it's pretty. It's so pretty. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty and shiny. I'm just having a bit of a moment. When you've wanted something like this for over 10 years and you have it, it's kind of a bit surreal. I'm going to unlock it oh, it's bigger than I thought wait I don't want it facing that way oh my god what am I doing I can't even think straight lock that on look at it it's so cute it's the cutest thing ever all right I'm gonna put those keys somewhere safe so I don't lose them I just thought I would get some close-ups for you the beautiful lock which I'm petrified of getting scratched the details. Um, so it's got the cowhide brown leather straps. Obviously the coated canvas there. And Louis Vuitton made in France. Oh, that music sound. And inside, oh, look at that red. So nice. And matchy. Also just wanted to point out how lovely and light the speedy is like it's so light i know that it's a bit of a trap because obviously then um you kind of go into the habit of putting more in it but yeah it's such a light bag which is really handy i think also why i didn't get the monogram was because the vichetta just worried me i didn't want to have to baby my bag i am someone who's a bit of a klutz and i think if i ever do get a mono i want to make sure it's a bag that isn't my isn't a bag i'm going to use that much and i do intend to use the speedy a bit so yeah that's my reasoning behind getting them yet then you've seen the bag you can tune out now if you want but i'm just going to talk a little bit more about why i went with the speedy over the speedy bandolier so or speedy bando tell me how to pronounce it please i don't like messing these things up in the english teacher i should have researched it before i started filming so anyway i'm gonna calm down and talk to you about why yeah why i went for the 30. my friend actually has a 25 in the mono and so I got a good feel for that and I knew that it was just too small for me the same way I felt about the Alma BB. I'm gonna pop her pair for now. It's a her. I decided it's a her. What her name is, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so I decided on when I went in, I was like, no, the Almas are all wrong, like it's not the right style. Then the sales assistant, obviously making sure and all 
so it is more expensive it's like i'm going to show you this video b and just see what you think and on the purse forum everyone like well not everyone but almost everyone was like if you get the speedy get the speedy b the speedy b is better if you don't get the speedy b you're gonna regret it if you're a mom you have kids you want to have your hands free blah 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 and they went on and i was like i totally appreciate what they were saying when i tried the speedy b on i was like uh-uh like and my friend was with me and i had both i had the speedy b on this arm and i had the speed regular speedy on this arm you know what it's just not right and i've actually since read a few more comments about it being quite bulky and feeling kind of like it sticks out too much and i think because it is that kind of doctor bag style kind of free form um kind of almost not so structured and kind of has that sort of slouchiness to it and it's quite wide just for me i normally wear like a tote or just something that's a bit slimmer lined and it just felt like it jutted out too much if i ever did go for the speedy b i'd probably get it in the 25 so it didn't feel so cumbersome and large so that was the main reason i also went for the 30 over the 25 a because my friend's 25 i personally found the opening a little bit annoying like i felt like i've got really quite large hands like i don't know if you can see like i've got a big head i've got big hands um for a lady i really felt like like my whole hand took up the whole space of the zip up it's definitely like a smaller bag obviously in height and diameter and i'll put the measurements of the speedy 30 below for you i just am someone who does carry a lot and i found yesterday like i have another new bag that i got from oraton um, a little while ago which is naughty of me that i now have two new bags but they're very different and they serve very different purposes and i found that that had a crossbody strap and it also had the handle and i found that when i was shopping and holding heaps of bag um i don't like the cross the the strap because it often falls down and i don't like to wear crossbody because i'm a bigger bastard person as well so i find that they cut across and i just feel like it gives me a really weird shape and i'm not a fan so i always wear like that and then when i have lots of shopping bags it's if it slips i've got no, no hands to like kind of pick it up so i actually prefer to wear a bag in the crook of my hands or to carry it with the top handle i don't this is not a bag i'm going to be taking grocery shopping i mean well maybe occasionally but you know for all intents and purposes it's pretty much a bag that i'm going to be using for special occasions for you know city trips for going out for dinner that kind of stuff so it just didn't feel i just didn't personally feel like i needed the speedy b and i know a lot of people were really big on 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 it and kind of like no you need the speedy b and i was like no i just didn't feel right so yeah i um i went with the speedy 30 and it's so pretty if you have any ideas this is gonna sound weird of what i should name her comment below if I didn't like this name for my child, I feel like something like Annabelle, or maybe I should go something French. Maybe I should call her Solange. But yes, I absolutely love it. I'm so excited to use it when, I think I will take it to school tomorrow. But I, I'm a bit mindful about putting my laptop in it, so I might carry my laptop and stuff separately. But yeah, I kind of just want to like use it. Oh, I really love it. I'm so, actually, I'm so happy. And I was so, I just want to like, whatever. There's a cat. I just want to talk about guilt and I really, really did weigh this decision up for so long, obviously years and years and years, but like when it came down to it that I knew um, that I was contemplating buying it, I was like, oh, but I need a vlogging camera. Oh, I could pay, um, put some money into savings. Oh my God, cat, go away. But yeah, I kind of was like, oh, how can I justify this? I've got a kid. There's things around the house that need doing. And I thought, you know what? My husband literally wouldn't question this. Like he would just buy what he feels. He wouldn't have this like intense guilt that I'm feeling. Oh, I don't think so. Like just from what I know about him. And I think like as a mum, and if you are a mum and you're watching, you probably know you often feel really guilty about, oh my God, get off. Sorry. My cat was just on that box, the box from that bag. Nah, -uh. I do. I, like, I really feel like, I don't know, like today it's really sort of sunk in that I've got it and I feel like. I deserve it and if you've really thought about it and you want it and the money is available and it's not going to break the bank I don't think you'll feel guilty as long as you make the right bad choice and that you go in and I really do recommend trying on like I think in my head I f I thought I my gut instinct told me that the speedy was the right bag for me but then when I saw the Alma I just confused myself and so do your research have a look have a real think about what it is that you want in a bag and just go for it anyway um, I will be doing a review of the bag after I've used it, so that will be obviously further down the track. But if you have any questions about any of this video, please comment below. 
Thank you so much for tuning in and I'm so excited to start using my bag. I'll chat to you guys all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.